Lightroom 4 has added a new book module that makes it remarkably easy to create photo books that you can have printed by Blurb. Let's go ahead and take a look at the process for creating a photo book of our favorite images from a trip. I've applied pick flags to my favorite photos from this trip and I've turned on the film strip filter so that I'm only able to see images that have a pick flag assigned to them. I'll go ahead now and switch to the book module where I can design the book so that I can have it printed. The first step is to establish the book settings. For example, I think I'll choose the small square option, that's a 7 by 7 inch book. Lightroom lets me know that I'm changing the size and therefore the layout will need to be changed. That's no problem in this case because I've not yet added any images to the book. I want a hardcover book with an image wrap and I also want to print on the premium luster paper. You can see that as I work, I get an estimate of the price. So this helps me make some decisions about the particular paper, for example, or the number of pages that I want to include in the book. I could manually add individual pages and then adjust the layout and the images for those pages, but I'm going to create an automatic layout. I'll set the preset to one photo per page and then click the Auto Layout button and Lightroom will create a basic layout for me automatically. So now I have a basic book layout that includes a single image on every single page. But I can of course refine the appearance of the book if I'd like to. For starters, I'll change the images that appear on the front cover and the back cover. I'll drag a different image from the film strip onto the front cover. And then I can also adjust the zoom setting for that photo. I could zoom in or out. In this case, I think I do want the image to fill the available space. And so I'll keep it zoomed in a little bit and then also adjust the position of that photo just by dragging it around. For the back cover, I'll also use a different image. I can scroll through and make a decision about which particular image I might like to include. In this case, I'll drag an image from Hallstatt in Austria and adjust the position for that photo as well, in addition to the zoom setting if I decide to do that. So that gives me a good starting point for the cover of the book. I can also change the layout of any of the individual pages if I'd like to. For example, maybe I want to include a couple of flower photos on this page. So I'll click on the page itself and then click the pop-up and I can choose a different layout. I'll go ahead and choose the option for two photos to the page and then I'll scroll through the available layouts and find something that I think will work well. I think for this particular page I'll use one large and one small. I'll also adjust the zoom setting for the photo here so we can see more or perhaps even all of this particular photo. And then I'll drag another photo. Let's find another horizontal image that might fit in well with that particular photo that I've already used. And I think maybe the photo of the person drawing with chalk on the sidewalk might work well. Of course, you can see that I now have that photo included twice, so I would likely want to replace that image as well. But of course, the key here is that I have tremendous flexibility in adjusting the overall layout. If I decide that perhaps I'd like to change this layout back to one photo per page, for example, I can very easily switch back. And in this particular case, perhaps use a layout that will allow me to see the entire image there. I might also adjust the zoom for this neighboring page so that I can see the entire photo even though that means there will be some blank space on the left and right. Now these are just a few examples of some of the options that are available. If you scroll down on the right panel you'll also find additional settings allowing you to add captions for your photos for example or adjust the type settings if you'd like to add text to some of the pages for example. And of course you can also adjust the background, for example adding a color to the background. For this particular book I think I'll leave the option set to white, so I'll leave the background color option turned off. I can also switch among some of the various views, for example seeing a full spread at a time so I can get a better idea of the preview of this particular book or looking at individual pages at a time if preferred. But in most cases I prefer to work with the spreads view so that I can get a better sense of the overall book layout. I think I'll spend a little bit more time working on this book, but I want to save my work now just so that I make sure not to lose this particular book layout. I'll click the Create Saved Book button and I'll call this Austria Book and I'll click Create and now we can see over on the left panel under Collections we have the Austria Book Collections. If I switch back to the Library module though, you'll see that that collection is indeed there. I can click on the collection to see all of the images that are included in that book project, but I can also go directly to that book project by clicking the arrow button at the right of that saved collection. 
and that will take me back to my book so that I can continue refining it to perfection. Once I am finished preparing my book, I can send it to Blurb automatically simply by clicking the Send Book to Blurb button at the bottom of the right panel, entering my email and password for my Blurb account, and then clicking the Upload Book button. Lightroom will then process all of the images and all of the page layouts and send that data to Blurb automatically so that you can order copies of your book to share with friends or maybe even to sell. If you'd like to use a printer other than Blurb, you can also create a PDF, and that enables you not only to print with a different printer by submitting that PDF to them, but also to share the book on digital devices, for example. To get started with a PDF document, all you have to do once you've laid out your book is click the Export Book to PDF button at the bottom of the left panel in the book module. You can then type a name for the PDF document, I'll just call this Austria Book, and choose a location and then click the Save button and Lightroom will generate a PDF document. Keep in mind that it will generate separate documents for the cover because that's a spread that includes the front and back cover as well as for the interior of the book. So you'll end up with two individual PDF documents, one for the cover and one for the interior of the book. But as you can see, with the book module in Lightroom, there's quite a bit of flexibility, both in terms of how you lay out the book, as well as how you share that book with others.